latest update that we're getting from the Jharkhand Assembly election results. Now, early trends are giving a lead to the GMM Congress Alliance. Uh, Jharkhand Chief Minister Raghubar Das is leading from Jamshedpur East seat, but by a very narrow margin. However, Das, who spoke a short while back, uh, said that BJP is still confident of winning the elections. Round <laughs> जो हजार डेढ़ हजार दो हजार मार्जिन से हैं इसलिए अभी रुझान पर अस्पष्ट प्रतिक्रिया देना मैं उचित नहीं हूँ मैं शाम में रांची में प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करूँगा मोहित शर्मा इस जॉइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम द कांग्रेस ऑफिस एट रांची एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम मोहित ऑफ कोर्स एट दिस पॉइंट वी जस्ट हर रघुबर दास कंटिन्यूइंग टू एक्सप्रेस कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ कोर्स अर्ली लीड्स आर शोइंग दैट द कांग्रेस अलाइंस इज अहेड एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम बट व्हाट्स द मूड लाइक एट द कांग्रेस ऑफिस राइट नाउ I would like you to, uh, to just take you through these visuals. You know, everybody is glued uh, to the television screens at this particular moment, and what uh, essentially they are trying to assess is the fact that uh, what would be the total margin of victory for the alliance members. Now, this is uh, between the RJD, the JMM, and the Congress Party. So, all of them have essentially glued themselves to the TV. We uh, we saw, you know, every time a seat is won by the Congress Party, there is a huge celebration right in the corridor of this particular office. You know, you you see those um, uh, crackers that have. Have already been burst here. So many people have already been uh, be, have started to assemble here with uh, with you know the Congress Party flags uh, across across uh, the uh, the entire building that you see. So the the, the mood is rather ecstatic. It's a jubilant uh, uh, Congress volunteers that we see right now. And what's interesting is the fact that uh, while the the BJP refuses to uh, to uh, you know actually say that they've uh, they've um, you know accede to the fact that they've lost these elections, the Congress Party says that the number would actually Go further up. They are hopeful of the fact that by the um, by the time the the final results are out in this particular matter, the number could even go further than 42. So that is what we are hearing from from the Congress Party at least. On on the JMM front, we hear that uh, Mr. Hemant Sorain may do a press conference very soon as well. So that would be interesting as to what exactly does he have to say. But nevertheless, you know, the BJP, which was riding very high on on a variety of issues, we had seen how uh, you know both uh, the, the Home Minister as well as the Prime Minister had come in here, had done several rallies. But despite that, you know, if uh, uh, the uh, the BJP has not managed to do well, now there are a couple of reasons behind it as well. Uh, we have spoken to a large number, a large section of people in in Ranchi and uh, in in the neighbouring areas, in the neighbouring cities as well, and all of them say that it it is essential. The anti-incumbency of the chief minister and nothing else. So it does seem that while the people may not be entirely against the centre here, they were not in favour of the CM. So that could be a major issue which came to light right uh, during these elections. At the same time, you know the the tribal land issue. You know the Congress had emphasised on it time and again that uh, the the land of the tribals were being snatched and that is something that they would uh, give back to them. However, the centre had come out and explained that you know nothing of that sort was happening. The tribals, uh, the land of the tribals will uh, will remain with the tribals, with the with the individuals who own it. But nevertheless, that's uh, you know these these uh, state issues seem to have worked in favour of the alliance members. What we are getting to know is the trend from Jharkhand, which uh, which is at around 42 to 43 in favour of the UP. So certainly, uh, it does seem that uh, given uh, given the trends, it does seem that the UP, the alliance, is heading for a win. The BJP, uh, it's a big jolt for the BJP in the state of Jharkhand. Yes, absolutely, Mohit. Uh, like you pointed out as well, as far as uh, Raghubar Das at least is concerned, uh, it has been the anti-incumbency has been a trend in Jharkhand uh, for several years now. So we'll have to see if that, uh, you know, if Raghubar Das can actually manage to change that. But aside from that, uh, what would be the other Im important and key uh, constituencies to really look out for? Because uh, some of those constituencies are likely to see a very narrow margin, uh, which could perhaps swing either way. Well, uh, that's an interesting question because at least uh, 10 to 12 constituencies are such in which the the winning margin may be less than 2,000. So that would be interesting as to how have they swung. But at the same time, what's also interesting is the fact that the uh, the, uh, the alliance members of the BJP. Now, even if you see the JVM or for that matter uh, the AJSU, both of them uh, did not go along with the BJP. The BJP decided to go all alone in these elections, fought elections on 79 seats. Uh, it it uh, it was essentially a move that came. 
came in after what we uh, what we saw happen in Maharashtra, and uh, you know BJP wanted to go all alone. It did not want a repetition of the same. But since the morning, you know, we had uh, various reports coming in in which the BJP had already started to talk to various uh, the the previous alliance members of the AJSU. And uh, despite the fact that you know the AJSU and uh, the BJP had not contested elections together, uh, uh, Sudesh Mehto's uh, seat was not contested by the BJP. So the BJP was not uh, burning all the bridges. It left uh, you know certain points on which you know uh, bargain could be made, and this was perhaps it. This you know, a, a, a sort of a, the last card by the BJP, which it could have played as well. But right now, given the numbers and given the fact that the BJP is stuck at around 28 seats at this particular point, given the trends that is that are uh, that are showing at about uh, 1 1 30 p.m., it remains to be seen that what exactly would be the last number. But nevertheless, you know, there are various factors, including the alliance members not siding with the BJP, or rather, the BJP not taking its own alliance members into these state elections. Yes, absolutely, Mohit. Uh, thank you so much for getting us all of those details. We'll, of course, uh, keep track of uh, all the numbers as and when they keep updated. Meanwhile, Times Network also caught up with BJP uh, Rajya Sabha MP Sudhan Chitravedi, who admitted that the trends in Jharkhand were not as per their expectations. Listen in. How do you see these elections and the results? Because we see that after the 29 general elections, in the third uh, state where the BJP has failed to make the government of their own. How do you see this? The trends which are coming definitely are not as per our expectations. Finally, when the figures will come and the, all the election-related data and the vote percentage will come, then we'll be able to analyze and finally infer what has actually happened. But up till now, the percentage of vote of BJP is improving. As you have said that in the last, uh, this is the third assembly election, in Haryana, we formed the government in uh, Maharashtra, we won politically. You were the single largest party. We won politically, arithmetically, but we have seen a moral deceit. So that's how they were able to form the government. And here itself, our percentage of vote is increasing. But I think because of the coalition of the opposition and our partners drifted away, that may might have been one of the reasons.